Yes, I have a PhD. I am a master in what we're going to talk about today. And today we're talking about something that I do pretty much every day. I am a master. I have my doctorate. I am a PhD. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today, I bet you didn't know that I have a PhD. Yes, I have a PhD. I am a master in what we're going to talk about today. And today, we're talking about something that I do pretty much every fucking day. I am a master. I have my doctorate. I am a PhD in stupid time. Yes, we're doing a whole entire episode on stupid time. We're going to dive deep into it. It's going to be just a quick, hard-hitting episode. So what the freak is stupid time? So stupid time in general is a, a time scheduled on your calendar that is just free time. There is nothing intentional on, on the calendar, nothing intentional on the schedule. You just do whatever you want pretty much as long as it's not work. Now, there's different varying levels to that we'll get to it in a second, but it's really just blank space on your on your calendar. And a lot of times our stupid time might be something like playing video games or Grand Theft Auto or, or whatever else, or maybe watching a Netflix series. We get into certain series and, and you just, it's your time to, to check out, even veg out. So just lower your stress levels and almost go into an alternate world, an alternate reality. So that's why you th- those kind of things are allowed in stupid time, this free time. Again, doesn't have to be anything intentional. It doesn't have to be planned out. It's just doing whatever the fuck you want to do in that blank space on the calendar. And what it, let's, let's go to the definition. I always like to break down the, the words we talk about, what it is, uh, the official definitions. Stupid is lacking ordinary quickness and keenness of mind. So it's lacking that ordinary quickness. So it's basically slowing down the mind which at times you know that you freaking need in order to succeed so that you can go and do that kill work. We had a whole episode and a whole series on kill, skill, and chill. So stupid time is really a segment, the lower end segment of the chill time. Is stupid, the definition of stupid is, is characterized by or proceeding from mental dullness or foolish, or senseless. There are times you want to have mental dullness because you can't always be on. You just can't. I'm a fairly motivated, energetic individual. And if I need that downtime, if I need even the the lower parts of the downtime, which is the stupid time, I'm fairly certain most mortals also freaking need it. It's stupid is, is characterized as tediously dull, especially due to lack of meaning or sense. It's pointless. It's irrelevant. It's short-sighted, senseless. Sometimes you need to be doing pointless shit. Now, again, there's a, a, always a caveat to this. This shit must be fucking earned. If you watch the Kill, Skill, Chill episode, there can be no chill time without the kill time. But the chill time is going to make the kill time a thousand times more effective. And the lower, deep, dark, basement, bottom level of the chill time is the stupid time. When you're complete, just, yeah, it is pointless. It's lacking meaning or sense. It's lacking speed because you need to slow the fuck down in order to take off some of that pressure. And I can't tell you how many times I've been, yeah, chill time, it's a time of reflection, but on actually on stupid time, and I always have a, a pen and a notebook right here in, in my pocket during the day when I'm just working around the house and I pull out a little notepad, a little waterproof right in the rain notepad, and I'll just write quick little notes down that pop into my head throughout the day. So I don't even open up the phone for it. If I'm doing work and I have a note, I'll put it in the phone in a task list or whatever. But during chill time or stupid time, I won't even open up the phone. I don't want to be distracted by it. I'll write pen to paper. And I can't tell you how many 
ideas I came up with or podcast episodes I come up with or topics for coaching clients or solutions to problems or marketing ideas or even complete fucking business ideas that came about during that chill time and specifically during the stupid time because you're completely detached. You're separated from the grind, from the day-to-day, from the hustling. And when you're detached, your mind goes off and wanders off and sometimes into weird fucking useless places, but sometimes it latches onto something and you're like, holy fuck, that's like a brilliant fucking idea that I never would have came about if I was on kill time all the time, if I was always on the prowl, always on the hunt, if I didn't just completely detach to this stupid time. And so we characterize kill time as like 10 times the effort or 100 times the effort or productivity. And chill time, we, what do we say chill time is, Tyson? One, one, zero to one times. So zero is like, one times is like that chill time when you're reflecting, you're meditating, you're going for a, a long hike or a bike ride where you're stimulating your mind, you're getting out in nature. That's like a one, one times productivity. But then that 0. 0.5, I don't think we said zero, maybe 0. 0.5, because they still never zero. Zero is fucking dead. That 0. 0.5 productivity is the stupid time where it's not intentional. Yeah, it's dull. Yeah, it's senseless, like all those things we said. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Yes, it's lacking or quickness and keenness of mind, but it's productive in the way that it's detaching you from the shit you've been stressing on, detaching you from the anxiety to free your mind, to open up spaces, to come up with solutions to problems you never would have fucking came up with. It's taking the pressure off. I have literally made hundreds. I'm, I'm a professional video game player. I bet you didn't know that. Not only am I a PhD, I'm also a professional video game player. I make money by playing video games. Bet you didn't even know that. And the way I do that is, or I make money watching Netflix. While we're playing video games and completely detached, something in that openness of mind and that curiosity that's engaged or the creativity or just wandering off into that alternate reality world opens up your mind to new ideas. And I've come up with ideas that have made hundreds of thousands of dollars during stupid time. So think about that. It's that, we call it that, it's that freak fun time, that freedom time, that chill time, that stupid time. Because really when it comes down to it, it's, we're, we're having fun. It's called stupid time, but it's usually going to be fun. It's checking out. Sometimes it might just be going to the pool and doing nothing. Sitting around and going in the yard, playing with the dogs. Not necessarily stupid time, but it's not work. It just might be, that just might be what we do with that free time, that additional outdoor time. Because here, here's the reality of it. Men in general forgot how to fucking have fun. They forgot how to play. They forgot how to laugh. They forgot how to take, talk shit, and they take shit too serious. They take themselves too serious. They take even their fucking work too serious, and they think that grind and that hustle and all this other shit is going to get them to this place. But they need, at times, to be earned to detach to that stupid time, to that chill time and that lower level of the chill time, which is the stupid time. It will engage. It will open up your mind to other areas. Again, it's non-intentional time, and it must be fucking earned. It has to be earned, and it's just that free time to check out mentally, have fucking fun, and this is for, I'm speaking mainly, I'm speaking to men right now because men don't know how to have fun anymore. It's just eliminated. The thing is a grown-up that, yeah, we're supposed to suffer and toil and deal with hardship and, and bear the burden and the stress and the anxiety of the family, all fucking true. But the only thing that's going to make you be able to do that even fucking better as a man is to have that chill time, that guilt-free detachment, having some motherfucking freak fun. What happened to having fun? If you you see on the internet me screaming and cursing and in different programs we do for a couple of seconds and being serious all the time, if you saw how much throughout the day we talk shit, we have fun, we laugh, we screw around, joke around shit right before we hit recording on this we can record the stuff that goes on there with me and this cameraman about the shit we're talking and the fun we're having and what we're laughing about or what he's pissing me off about but it's guilt-free men forgot to have fucking fun guilt-free free clear innocent fucking fun just stupid fun it doesn't happen anymore 
Because men start to take themselves too fucking serious. They think they're so fucking important that their job is so fucking important. The business is so important. Their, their little likes on the internet are so important. The comments from the douchebags are so fucking important that they forgot how to have fun. They get so all worked up and all fucking uptight and they end up wasting their fucking lives with no fun, no fulfillment, forgot how to be stupid, forgot how to be fun. And again, I have that PhD in freaking stupid time. So here's what I want you to do. Here's how I want you to implement this this week. Determine where in your day you have time and you could put a place in your calendar for stupid time. Yes, I literally have time in the calendar that says it's a block. It just says stupid time and it's a block. Just plain bright block that just says stupid time. It is time to detach. So find a space in your calendar that must be earned. So you obviously shouldn't be starting your fucking day off with stupid time. Well, Steve told me if I make more money with stupid time, so I'm going to do that right when I wake up in the morning. I'm going to go right to stupid time, play some fucking video games. No, dumbass. It's got to be fucking earned. And then after you find the ideal time where that stupid time should be, create a list of stupid time ideas. What would you do during that stupid time? So at least you have some ideas and think, oh, that would be fun to do. That would be cool to do. That would be interesting or curious to do this. Maybe shit you haven't had time for, shit you haven't done enough in the last few years as a man, some fun shit you've been avoiding or been neglecting or convincing yourself you're too fucking serious and too cool and too busy to fucking do. So create that list of ideas for stupid time. So create the time for the stupid time, create the list for the stupid time, and then implement your stupid time as a daily discipline or however often every freaking day at the time on your calendar and stick to it and do nothing in that time except have some fucking fun, detach, and maybe think of some of the ideas you put in for that stupid time. So maybe it's somewhat planned or intentional, but it's intentional free activities. And then when you're done with it, after you've, you've experienced stupid time for let's say a week or a few days, I want you to reflect on it and think, all right, what were, what were your first thoughts and reactions when you're hearing, oh, I need to have some stupid time? I need to have some chill time and even some stupid time, which is the lower end of the chill time. What were your first thoughts when you just hear the idea of that? And then after you did it, how'd you feel after completing the stupid time? What were your thoughts going through? It was, did you see it as beneficial? Did you see it as a waste of time? Did you get anything out of it? And then also, what are the benefits you can see from continually doing that in the future? And then ask yourself, all right, now, how can I even maximize and weaponize this stupid time? How can I combine it with other daily domination time blocks? Like I said, sometimes we'll be hanging out in the pool. Sometimes stupid time might be going out outside playing with the dogs. Maybe it's going in and wrestling and fighting. Maybe it's going and playing airsoft freaking tag out in the yard. We're getting shot in the face at airsoft guns with our eye protection on, of course. But how can you combine stupid time with other, I'll, I'll play video games. Sometimes the whole family, we have th three 75 inch TVs right next to each other. Talk about maximizing stupid time. We're having fun. It's an awesome environment. We're with the whole family or friends with our own freaking screens playing against each other, screwing with each other in the games. This kid is extremely toxic in every fucking game we play. He's like a nightmare of playing these games with each other online always fucking with me in those games but we're having freaking fun we're connecting we're talking shit we're laughing we're having fun men forgot how to have fucking fun and that will lead to lack of fulfillment if you're just a life of just seriousness and grinding and bullshit all the time and you never detach you never fucking chill and never have fun with your stupid time so think of how can you combine the stupid time with other time blocks to maximize it and weaponize it and make it even better and even more effective. And then what are some other ideas that you come up, can come up with to do with your scheduled super time? After you come up with your initial ideas, as you start experiencing a few times, start thinking, oh shit, I forgot about this. Start Make it an active list of stupid time activities so it can be even more beneficial and weaponize it even more and have even more fucking fun with your stupid time. Again, this is just a lower segment of the chill time. So that when you go back to it, you are just like on chill, the, the chill segment that we did in the chill was about reflecting, about learning. Chill time and stupid time will give you regeneration. It gives you time to be creative, time to visualize or really just rest and recover and decompress. That's a joke we have around the family here. We say after a tough day of work, a long day of work, and we got a lot of shit done, be like, wow, 
I really need to go decompress. That basically means we're going to the gray room. We have a room. Each room has a different environment, a different energy. We call it the gray room. That's where our three TVs are. I'm just going to go to the gray room and decompress. Basically means we're going to do some motherfucking stupid time. But we're going to have some fun. We're probably going to connect. We're going to work with each other and have fun. It's probably not by ourselves. And sometimes through time might be by yourself. But a lot of times it's probably going to be with other people. It's decompression time. It's your time to de- detach. It's time to just be free. Just say fuck it and be free. Fuck it. It's called it's fuck it free time. It's time where you just get to slow down and recharge and be patient. Or how about this? Like I said, have fun and go play. It's time to go fucking play. Or maybe you want to use that time and go read. Go sit outside in the sun, work on your suntan, get some fresh air, get out in nature and, and read a freaking book or listen to a book. It's whatever you want to do, whatever's going to work for you in that. It's still stupid time, that chill time, that stupid time. It's the, the time that you are maybe not attacking at 100%, but it's making you be able to attack on that 100% kill time even better because You stopped a little bit. You slowed down a little bit. You had some fucking fun. It's almost a reward. The stupid time is really a reward for all your hard work and kill time that you've done previously. Knowing you have this stupid time to look forward to, it's like makes the uh, the hard work even easier. Knowing you have this time to just check out and veg out and have fun and go and decompress and take a big deep breath and fucking chill and be stupid. Again, I have a fucking master degree in stupid time. So I want you to try this out and I want to know how it goes. Answer those questions that I set up above and write them out in your downtime, your chill time, your stupid time. Journal on it, talk about it, write about it and put down the comments below. What'd you do at your stupid time? How was it? What'd you think about it? How could you do it even better? How can you combine it with other things? And I want to hear about it. These are the kind of things that I have the men do that go through the program, the Freak Father Alliance, the Men's Mentorship Group Coaching Program, and the Freak 40 Men's Six-Week Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. Stupid Time is actually one of the daily discipline challenges on there is implementing this stupid time. So if you want information about the Freak Mode 40, the Men's Six-Week Daily Discipline and Habit Transformation Challenge, or the Freak Father Alliance Men's Mentorship Program, where I help men and fathers And entrepreneurs develop this no excuses mindset to build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning so that they can attack their mission in life and create their create their ideal lifestyle with time freedom for their families and time for stupid time, for chill time and some motherfucking fun. Send me a mess. I'll send you all the information about that. Go and have some stupid time. Let me know how it goes. Let's all be fucking stupid motherfuckers together. And I will see you next time on the Seabacker Show. And in case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No excuses.